to anybody that's just watching this to watch you, to watch this and it doesn't know what it's like to have your childhood ripped away, it hurts. He was trying to get attention and, and was goofing around and we were always like, come on, knock it off and just come on, let's go. The nerve endings are sending messages to my brain while well, they were that it, I'm in pain uh, when my foot is flat and straight and fine, when I'm really not. What I've heard is correct. This is gonna turn my life around. This is gonna make it all worthwhile. I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm. And he put his hands on Sam's head, and he asked God to guide him while he performed surgery on Sam. Under anesthesia, uh, like deep anesthesia, she sort of looks like my mom. My job, and I love the people that I work with. Everybody that I work with is really amazing. They um, they all have the same goal in making sure that our patients are um, treated as a child and not just as a, a number or as a patient. Um, we want to make sure that we're reaching all aspects of that child's life. You don't develop functioning teams without having a very collegial working relationship and that relationship is built on trust and we here have an amazing group of physicians along with an amazing support staff. I have never worked at or been to an institution where the neurosurgeons um, are so easy to work with, are so willing to accept information, input, suggestions uh, from the neurologists uh, as the neurosurgeons are here. And that, that goes for all of our neurosurgeons uh, across the board. stereotactic surgery, so we're actually targeting a very small targets in the brain. Um, our biggest target's not, it's about the size of an almond. Um, and so it's, it's, you have to have very precise equipment, so we use our MRI scanners. Uh, we also use what's called a stereotactic head frame, so this big apparatus that we put on the kids um, that allows us to very localize within millimeters a, a target. Um, and then a lot of our stuff is what we use kind of low tech, our usual normal stuff we use. The operation itself is not really fancy besides the stereotactic head frame. Um, and people power. Sam is a unique patient in that um, he's very mature, he's very insightful, and he's got a good wit. And so um, for me, it's always about the kids. And actually we had an instance in one of our clinic visits where I was so focused on making sure Sam understood things and Sam was getting things that at some point his mom kind of stepped in and said, by the way, we're okay with this too. And that is how we've made it through all of this. And we feel so blessed for the people that we've come in contact with that have taken care of Sam. Dr. Honeycutt just came and told us you're done. They're washing your hair right now, and they're going to come get us in about 30 minutes when you start waking up, and you're all good. You're doing great. They said you're able to straighten your foot and turn it around in circles, and it's all great. We're so happy. So we'll see you in a little bit. I love you. Bye. You improve the quality of life of that child. The quality of life of everybody around them improves, and then the family thinks that you hung the moon um, and that's a very rewarding feeling just getting to see that and just the fact that uh, uh, kids are just so important and you know it's an old cliche but they are a future I mean there's no greater reward than that